Hey, this is Maria with Time to Play Mag.com, and today I have my friend Lori, who's going to be helping me play the Paint Play Game. It's an artsy game that creates original pieces of art with other players in the game. And so here's how it works you take out a blank piece of paper, your art materials, your spinner, your paint tokens, which are all provided in the game, and place them in the middle of the table. Shuffle the cards, which have been shuffled, and place them face down. Each player picks a card and follows the instructions. Now the game has six meanies that go with the color tokens. And these are strange little characters that steal color tokens and hide them. But you can get rid of the meanies or get rid of the color tokens and take them back as you play the game. So just kind of hang out and we're going to teach you how to play this. Are you ready, Lori? <laughs> I am ready to play. Okay, so we don't want to play with the watercolors only because I don't. Kind of messy. <laughs> kind of messy. So Don't we're going to use markers. Table. And you can do that too. It's such a great idea, especially with little kids. You can use markers. So here we go. Lori, go ahead. You start. Okay. This says to pretend that I'm on a treasure hunt and use my paintbrush to mark the painting where treasure can be found. Well, awesome. I'm just going to pretend that I'm that I'm painting, but I'm really going to use a marker. <laughs> Super Let's switch. Pretend. Here's here's the X where the treasure can be found. Awesome. Yeah. Woo! Okay. Great. Okay. Next, I'm going to play. I found a meanie. Freddy, no uh -oh. good. OK, so when I find a meanie, I take the paint token and I put him with me on my side. Here he is. Your turn. And this says, ooh, I take my imagination for a spin. So I have to spin the spinner, right? Yes, you do. Oh. You spin the spinner, and it lands on purple. So there's many different things that happen here. If you have a purple token, you have to color with purple. If someone else has a purple token, you get to take the purple. If a meanie has a pur purple token, then you get to steal that purple token. But since Lori doesn't have anything purple, she kind of has to skip her turn. Wah, wah. Oops, okay. I know. All right, my turn. Oh, here we go. The blue and yellow meanies got together and hid the green paint token. Oh. So here we take the green token and place it on a painting. That means it's so, being hidden. Even though we can still see it, it's yes, hidden. Yes, it is hidden. Okay. Oh, this is an inspiration card. Collect the green paint token. Okay, so that means I get to take it off of here, right? You do get to take it off of here. Now, here's where <laughs> another rule comes in. Because it was hidden on the piece of paper, you cannot get rid of the meanie, and the meanie has to stay in the game and goes back into the pile. Oh. But if the green token was on the green meanie, then you could discard of the meanie, and the meanie's gone, and now you only have five to deal with. Awesome. So the game goes on like this back and forth. I found this game to be incredibly frustrating. The directions were unclear, and th the meanies and whether they're hiding the tokens, they're not hiding the tokens, the inspiration cards, what to do with the spinner, it's just a lot, and I didn't quite get into it, right? Yeah, Wouldn't you agree? Yeah, a little complicated. Yeah, we found it to be a little bit complicated. I love collaboration. I love that this game is encouraging collaboration. There is no winner to this game, which is really fantastic, but you are also taking tokens from your players, which sometimes can be a little bit competitive and might be confusing for young players. This game is for two to four players for ages six and above, and it's by Briar Patch. For more information, find us at timetoplaymag.com, your number one source for all things play.